coming in at number four question go this man is one of the best twos players in the game if you guys don't know he has probably the best record on ps4 at one point he had a 96 win percentage he's been on a crazy amount of big streaks he helped me grind the legend we went on a 90 and like 260s a back to back to back get that let's go bitch what you talking nigga What's good? What's good? Get dropped the fuck off, nigga. What you talking, nigga? 15 on your head, nigga. Bitch, get your dumb ass up. <laughs> fuck you talking, nigga. Hold that L. <laughs> Hold that L. <laughs> Hold that L. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that L, nigga. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> Trash ass bitch. It's supposed to be a moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a perception out there well hold up what's good bitch ass niggas how y'all motherfucker feeling there's a perception out there that that young nigga swan don't play no comp even though he's the most arrogant cockiest nigga in 2k motherfucking history like i'm just some pump faking ass youtuber man like i'm just one of these youtubers that just say i'm the best and there, there's no there's nothing to back it up you know i'm just a talking ass nigga okay just showed you me beating someone who has the best record on probably the game ps4 my nigga okay that's not his current record that screenshot He's probably like 6,000 or something and 200, okay? Not only did I beat him once, it's not no lucky win, no. <laughs> not only did I ISO his lockdown multiple times, not only did I drop his shit off when he had his playmaker and he's using screens or we're trying to ISO back and forth, I got the videos too. If y'all if y'all want me to post them, I can show you. Nobody's beat this nigga as much as me, so. Oh, yo, you don't beat no one, you, you can't do eat a dick bitch don't you ever disrespect me in your whole motherfucking life see let let me drop some knowledge on your dumb ass you stupid bitch you virgin ass fucking geeks that sit on the game all day get a life now i like fucking women you know i like sticking my cock in women okay i have a job i have an outside life so when i get on 2k my nigga I don't go to a comp stage and wait three games just to play it. No, I am a nigga. I wait on no one. I, it's so bad that I hate waiting on people that I basically run sub sessions every fucking stream. Every stream. Now, if I'm not the realest nigga to brag about how great I am and basically set myself up to get exposed and it don't happen, then I gotta be the realest nigga on this shit, my nigga. I'm openly inviting niggas to come drop my shit off. I have no team. And what happens? Now, let, let, let's talk about something else for you dumb niggas. You young and dumb niggas. You new niggas. <laughs> when I play comp, like y'all might be like, you used to play way more comp last year. Or known people, you mean. I beat they ass so bad that they're not pulling up on me this year. I don't go play anyone. I'm Swante. I don't give a fuck about a sub count, nigga. Shout out to you niggas that actually pulled up on me. I mean, I'm not inviting you guys. I'm, I'm running with niggas who control me at any time. So you could get off a lucky win. But if they don't troll me, I mean, you, you might be in trouble. If you pull up on me with Randy's, you're getting dropped off. Okay, you're getting fucked up like bad. You need a team to stop me, bro. I'm the greatest. Like, like for instance, let, let's talk about some. Wait, let, let's talk about this real quick. <laughs> for you, young, dumb niggas. 
So, in 16, now I'm not dissing these people. I actually fuck with them. I'm cool with them. I like it. In 16, every comp player that you see playing Pro-Am, they used to be stageheads. They, I was talking so much shit on 16. They literally all pulled up on me multiple times. I really dropped their shit off and exposed them or I have winning records over them. And they put up on me with the team and I'm by myself, okay? We're, I'm not, now that's the comp players. There have been YouTubers that were nobody and pulled up on me and now they're somebody, okay? All those niggas, I beat over 15, 20 times. See, there's something about me where niggas who are decent at the game and they're unknown, they want to keep pulling up on you non-stop, okay? You, you want some names? That guy I run you, yeah? A-Mark, yeah? You guys think they're, they're such great players? I used to handle them, my nigga. You know, young, this not to diss Davis, so calm down. <laughs> he used to be one of my biggest fans, supporters, and all of that, nigga, okay? <laughs> I used to handle him. Now he over here breaking streaks and all that. Even though y'all say y'all bad, but uh, I'm just saying, my nigga. Y'all got to get off my cock. You feel me? You got to get off my penis. You heard me? <laughs> there, there been a lot of niggas, a lot of people that are top players. I don't even know. See, this, I didn't even know question was good. He was actually one of my biggest fanboys. He used to pull up on me nonstop. And what, what I've learned in 17 is to stop posting videos of people that are actually fucking decent because they're going to keep coming even more with full teams. They're going to try and set screens, activate park cards just to be in a video. But y'all 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 think that I'm just trying to create some... <laughs> Like, I post videos that get views. If I beat some little comp player, it's basically just giving him clout, bro. So he's going to keep coming. They're going to want me to show their clips and all that for an entertaining game. I show videos that are entertaining. Not me beating comp players. I don't want to keep playing these fucking tryhards with randoms. That's why I don't post the video. Unless he is somebody, my nigga. Now, question go is a fucking nobody, okay? It means nothing to beat this nigga to me. This is normal shit to me. Y'all might think this nigga's all nice. Every, everyone's opinion I heard of him, he's really good. Nigga, this nigga is straight trash. Y'all gotta stop listening to these perceptions, my nigga. A lot of these niggas that don't stream, they, they get on tools all day, right? When they're about to lose, they activate park cards. That's why they have these great records. And they're playing off I <laughs> Oh! <laughs> fuck you, intro, bitch ass nigga. Shut the fuck up, nigga. What the ground feel like, nigga? Fuck you talking, dickhead. Stream and they have balls like, bruh. You can manipulate your, your record. It's, it's not hard, bro, okay? It, it doesn't mean too much. This nigga's ass. Don't ever disrespect me again. You know, I got other videos of beating other comp niggas, but you know that, that that's all I wanted to say about this uh <laughs> this question goat nigga. So watch your fucking mouth. Don't ever disrespect me in your fucking life, goofy dumb bitches. Okay. You know, I really do this. You feel me? You know, we don't play and we that guy. We get on like three days later. We play niggas like this that don't get off the game and drop their shit the fuck off. Y'all might think, oh, you don't you don't dribble so good. There's no way you could be nice. They used to say the same shit in 16. Look how you play. It's so easy to guard. They pulled up on me. Got fucked up. <laughs> it always happens like that. It's been happening like that. Shit looks simple. But I make it work because of my IQ. Like, y'all y'all trying to take me out of shit that I invented. I was one of the first niggas to drop a dribble tutorial for cheese. Actually, I was in 2K15 when Red City was holding all the moves hostage. I was the first. 
that basically meant I was a dribble guy. <laughs> but now, you know, apparently, you know, I, I don't dribble up to their standards, so I'm not a dribble guy. Or, or I, I, y'all, y'all niggas try to say, you don't have no IQ. I put that word in the community. I started judging, like, you got no IQ. Like, that's all me. These movements, this lingo, this is all products of me. You are all my babies. If I wasn't here, would there be a dribble guy? If I wasn't here, would there be an IQ guy? Y'all niggas got me fucked up. King shit, bitch. I'm out this bitch. I hope y'all enjoyed, man. I just wanted to talk some shit. Adios, niggas. <laughs> Western road flows, my confidence level getting settled. Don't get hyped for the moment, then start to backpedal. Don't let your newfound fame fool ya. Cloud up your judgment to talk loosely. I really do this. Been flowing stupid since Vince Carter was on some through the legs, arm in a hoop shit. Drinking hypnotic with Glenn Lewis. I've been through.